Hello friends, in this video we will see a problem based on combinations or selection. Okay, for example, there is a box is there, okay, and this box contains two white balls, okay, and three black balls and four red balls, four red balls, okay. So out of this we have to select three balls, okay, out of this, out of these balls from this box and we have to select three balls ok we have to select three balls in such way in such a way and uh, at least one black ball must be included in the drop ok at least one black ball at least one black ball must be included in the must be included in the draw in the draw ok so a box is there and that box contains two white balls three black balls four red balls ok or from these or uh, from this box we have to draw three balls ok in such a way that in such a way that at least one black box one black ball must be included in the draw at least one black ball must be included in the draw. So, what is the possibility? For example, selecting three balls out of which at least one block black ball must be there. At least one black ball must be there. Okay. So the possible selections are like this. So one black ball and uh, and two others and two others. Okay. Or two black balls and one other ball ok one other ball or three block balls may be possible right so we have to select three balls out of the box from this box and we have to make sure that at least one block ball must be there in that selection ok so at least one means so it is going to be contain one or two or all all three balls are black so that means it is going to be contained so one black ball or and two other ball ok so the others includes white and red the others includes white and red so here two black balls or the possible selection may be two black balls and one other ball or three ball so now we will see selecting one black ball out of uh, three black balls is the 3c1 and that means we multiply if one we are doing one work in m ways and other work in n ways so the total number of ways to do first work and second work together is m into n in the same manner 3c1 to select the block block 1 and two other balls so how many other balls are there four red balls and two white balls so total other balls are six balls are there so selecting two out of those six is 6c2 6c2 and then r whenever r is there we use plus ok r plus and then two block balls how many block balls are there two block uh, three block balls are there out of this we have to select three so that is going to be 3c2 and into and one other ball so there are six other balls are there four red balls and two white balls selecting one out of those six is 6c1 or plus and then three block balls are there out of this we are selecting three block balls so that is going to be 3c3 that is going to be 3c3 ok so that is going to be 3c3 so this is the this one we give the total number of selections of 3 balls out of which it is going to be contain at least 1 block ball out of which it is going to be contain so 1 block ball so out of which it is going to be contain 1 block ball so so we will solve this one so as we know the 3c1 as we know the 3c1 gives 3 and 6c2 is equivalent to 6 into 5 by and 2 into 1 ok so this is going to plus 3c2 so 3c2 is equivalent to 3c1 because ncr is equivalent to ncr n minus 1 right so 3c2 is equivalent to 3c1 and 3c1 is equivalent to 3 3c1 is equivalent to uh, 3 right into and 6c1 is equivalent to 6 itself and 3c1 is 1 itself 3c3 
3 is 3c3 is equal to 1. So this is 3 and 2, 2, okay. 3 5 is 15, 15 3 is 45, plus 6 3 is 18, plus 1, okay. 18 plus 1. So 45 plus 18 plus 1 is equal to 64. This 64. So we can select three balls from this box which contains two white balls, three block balls and four red balls in such a way at least the drawn three balls is going to be contain at least one block ball in 64 ways. Okay, 64 ways. So we can select three balls from that box and that selection going to be contain at least one block ball is 64 ways. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. And please subscribe to my channel.